friends. Whenever I am asked to draw a drawing, I always end up drawing some fluffy woolly clouds. But look at the sky today. I can only see a blanket of clouds. What are these clouds, I wonder? Let's talk about the different kinds of clouds today. Have you ever wondered how much a cloud weighs? A typical fluffy cloud can weigh up to 500 tons, which means 26 elephants or 17 blue whales. How tall is this fluffy cloud that we see on a sunny day? It's about twice the size of Burj Khalifa, which means about 300 floors. How much water can a rain cloud hold? About 66 mega liters, which means about 26 Olympic sized swimming pools. Have you ever wondered how you will feel if you fell through a cloud? Very wet and probably a bit buzzed because lightning forms when water particles rub against each other. On that note, how hot is lightning really? About 5 to 6 times hotter than the surface of the sun. I'm back in my room because it was getting a bit too noisy outside. Plus, I like this wall for the background which is totally related to our topic, clouds. Why clouds? You might wonder. Because the last few weeks of the lockdown have had spectacular skies and beautiful clouds. Also, I've been going through my travel pictures recently and I found so many different types of clouds in them. I decided to start reading about clouds and thought of sharing it with you. Clouds are made of water vapor which evaporates from large water bodies like the ocean and condenses around dust particles in the higher levels of the atmosphere. Do you know how many different types of clouds are there? Clouds can be classified according to their height, their shape, their color and the kind of weather they bring. According to their height, they can be low, mid or high. The mid level is also called alto and the high level is also called zero with their further subtypes. There are certain terms used to describe different types of clouds. First is stratus, which means a layer or a blanket of clouds. These clouds can be found at all levels. At the lowest level, they are called stratus. At the middle level, they are called altostratus. And at the highest level, they are called cirrostratus. Remember your last trip to a hill station? When the clouds are so low that you can walk through them, those clouds are actually low-level stratus clouds. The next cloud is a cumulus cloud, which is a good weather cloud and is often seen as a fluffy woolly cloud in a bright blue sky. Whenever I think of cumulus clouds, I always imagine picnic scenes in the famous fire written by Enid Blyton. The cirrus clouds are the highest clouds which are thin and wispy and resemble the mare's tail. Limbo is a term used for rain clouds. The most famous rain cloud of all is the great granddaddy of all clouds, the cumulonimbus. This cloud brings storms, thunder and lightning. It goes through all the levels and is the greatest of them all. There's another smaller partner with it called the Nimbus Stratus. It's much smaller and only brings a slight drizzle. Lots of combinations of these clouds. For example, Cirrostratus and Cirrocumulus, Altostratus and Altocumulus, Stratus, Cumulus, Stratocumulus and Nimbus Stratus. Now a few fun facts. Did you know that they are green clouds? Green clouds are often found in tornado countries and they indicate tornadoes or hurricanes. Cornfields 
commonly known as jet wheels are line shaped clouds formed by the jet exhaust in higher levels of the atmosphere. I'm sure you must have smelled that wonderful aroma of wet earth after it has just rained. Do you know what it's called? Petrical. And it's one of my most favorite smells. After finishing this long cloud video, I'm so happy that I'm on cloud 9. Goodbye. Ciao.